let me be clear, it is pretty impossible to find the perfect homeschool curriculum for your kids, but I think I'm coming pretty close with the three options we have for our spring 2024 homeschool. Hi guys, Kathleen Lewis here. I'm a homeschool graduate and a homeschool mom to two, and we've got some unique needs in our homeschool. The first of which is I have a four-year-old that is gifted, and gifted homeschool kids come with uh, their whole range of unique needs and requirements. If you want to know about, more about that, check down in the description. I've got some links there to help you out. But essentially, one of my big things I need to focus on is he needs depth and a lot of curriculum intake, because gifted kids eat curriculum for breakfast and second breakfast, and 11 C's, and luncheon, and afternoon tea, and dinner, and supper, and they still have room for dessert. So yeah, they consume curriculum, and of course that presents a whole set of complications for me. The second thing that is unique about us is I have a toddler who wants to tag along and learn. So yeah, she's underfoot, or she wants to be involved. So yes, I need to choose something for my son, for his needs, but also something that I'm not like shoving a screen in front of her face or um, something that she can't get involved with. So yeah, I'm trying to balance those out. So for our curriculum picks for the spring of 2024, and yes, I pick in the middle of the year because we go through stuff that fast. Um, language arts and math has been working well for my son. He's, he's going well through that. He's about ready to move on to the next levels. But I'm needing something for the core, the bulk, because language arts and math is not enough for gift to gift. So I have been writing my own curriculum for him for about the past year. Um, and that's cultural studies around the world. If you want to know more about that, check the NEI cards. But I need a break so I don't burn out. Um, and also I'm throwing you with the idea of presenting it to you as, a, as an option and resource in the spring. So yeah, I need a break. I need something prepared for me. So I've done my research and figured out three curriculums that I think would work well for my gift of four-year-olds. Several of you out there have either asked about these specific curriculums or recommended them to me. And I agree, I've looked at them and I would say they could be good for a gifted kid. So the first option I have is Sassafras Science Adventures, the geology book. We have, have actually been listening to the first audiobook, the zoology book, um, within the last couple of weeks, and my son is in love with it. it. It is cheesy, quirky, and just something he really enjoys listening to. So I've looked at the curriculum. I like what I see. It has book lists in it. It has um, activity ideas that I could do with him. My only hesitation with this is he would probably go through about a week's worth of their schedule in a day or two because that's just how much he consumes, which isn't an issue for anything except my budget. Now this geology course has the added benefit of being bundled with another semester of astronomy, which is by far his favorite science subject to study right now. So if I get the bundle, that would be a great extension or a second thing we could do either this semester or later this summer. The second option I have is Sunlight Science K. I really do like how Sunlight has everything laid out in their instructor's manual. We've tried the pre-K and because it's an all-in-one curriculum, it wasn't working for us very well. You can go check out the video I have out about that. But since science is a, is a subject all on its own, I think the instructor's guide would be beneficial for me this time. I love the Discover and Do book that I've flipped through and seen. I actually do have all of the books. I was collecting them a year ago in anticipation for using this. Um, so I love it. I think this would actually be a really good choice for including my toddler because the activities, the books, are definitely things she would like to see and do as well. So yeah, it's a great option. My only hesitation again is we would blaze through this. This is supposed to be a full year science course. My guess is we'd be done with it in about a month, just with how fast we go through things. If you've been enjoying the options I have so far, go ahead and bump that like button and let me know it. But if you find curriculum picking stressful, then join me for a stress break and eat some chocolate with me. The third option I've got is Blossom and Roots Level 4 Physics and Engineering Science. Now this is the first semester of a full year bundle and the second semester would be anatomy, which I would love to get to eventually as well. But focusing on the physics and engineering is a really good option for me, mostly because when I presented Steven with these three options, these three choices of what topic he wanted to study, 
he immediately said without hesitation, I want to know how stuff works. I want that option. Um, he loves, he loves reading books about how things work, watching videos about how things are made. So it would be probably his favorite thing to study right now. Yes, level four is designed for fourth grader, but as I said, my son's gifted. He is, um, interested in things beyond a four-year-old's typical mental, um, desires. I'm really loving this curriculum because it is set up so similarly to how we've been doing our culture studies. Each each week, each topic has its own list of books that you can borrow from the library. They've got spines, they've got video links onto YouTube, and then hands-on activities again. So this would be very familiar to Steven in his methodology and how he would learn. Um, and the other thing I was considering is my husband is a mechanical engineer. So if the guys wanted to save the hands on activities for the evening to have some one-on-one -on -one daddy time, they could definitely do that too. The other big benefit about this curriculum is I think based on the topic and the amount of material presented, we probably would not go through this as fast. My guess would be three to four months just so Steven has the time to just dig deep and enjoy because this is definitely a topic that interests him. And as I said, anatomy, we've not studied yet. Um, and I know he loves studying about the human body. He's enjoyed the books that we have read about that. So that could be an option for this summer or maybe next fall. So each curriculum here does have its strengths and I'm having actually a hard time choosing between the three. But the good news is I'm probably going to pick two out of the three um, just because of how much we'll go through in the semester. I'm also interested in hearing what you guys think about it. If you've used the curriculum before, let me know down in the comments what you thought. And also be sure to subscribe so that you can find out exactly what I ended up picking. If you are interested in more information about what gifted homeschool curriculum needs to look like, check out this video right here I just put out recently.